Hola, what is good my fellow collectors? My name is Kevin Kira as you guys might know me in the group and I just want to give a quick shout out and thank you to Chris from the Batman Statue Collector for letting me share my recent addition to the uh, collection which will be this Iron Man. He's gonna take it from here but I just again just want to give a quick shout out to him for letting me share this with you guys. Hopefully you guys will enjoy and don't forget liking is good. Subscribe can be better. Take it from here, Chris. Hey, Kevin, thank you so very much for doing this for us. You rock, man. This is awesome footage of your brand new Iron Man from Iron Studios. Of course, this is a quarter scale piece from the Endgame film, and it's incredible. Um, this is the standard that we're looking at. There's also a deluxe version, which we'll also talk about. Uh, it's got a few more bells and whistles for sure, um, but the standard version is really exciting as well. You can notice uh, all the grass details here in the back. Uh, you notice the crumbled Avengers logo, which is really, really cool. It looks like it just fell off off the building um, nice rock work as well but then you also notice this kind of this translucent material that, that you know basically simulates uh, the the rocket booster coming off of his boot and it looks absolutely fantastic in my eyes you can see those uh, oranges inside of the yellow it looks good uh, but I want to focus here on the actual armor itself you notice that patina effect uh, it definitely makes the uh, the armor look um, used and it's you know been in battle damage um, and I really think it's subtle but it really works here really, really well. I mean, really notice it pop on the, the red color. Another thing I want to say here is that I have owned some other quarter scale um, Iron Man pieces before, and a lot of times the separation in color with the black lines sometimes can look sloppy. I do not see that here. I, th I see everything very, very clean, very, very crisp. And I really, again, like that shine. It looks really great. It really uh, feels like it's from the movie. And again, just all of those separations in color look very, very clean to me. And I, I'm just very, very impressed with what I'm seeing. Uh, and again, I really like that battle damage patina here. You can really see it on his mask. I absolutely love that. Um, I think that looks really, really good. And again, sorry a little bit about the focus. There we go. Um, but you can really see it, guys. Uh, and I just think that looks really good. It looks battle damage. It looks like he's been through hell. And I just think that's really awesome. Again, look at the clean lines here. Uh, you can really see it. Um, and I, I'm just very impressed with what Iron Studios has done with this particular piece. Uh, again, this is quarter scale. Uh, this particular version, uh, I think you can find it some places. I think a lot of places are sold out at this point, but it uh, retails for $900 USD. Um, the Deluxe um, is a little bit more bells and whistles, if you will. It's got the uh, the boosters on his back. It's also got the Robert Downey Jr. head sculpt. Um, and of course, this does have the light up feature, which is really cool as well. So you can really see uh, what that does. But here's basically the back of the statue. You can see that uh, that resin material a little bit better. Um, and again, look at the details on the boot. It's dirty on the bottom. Really nice. Again, that might be something you never see, but you can see kind of it's kind of like a mud effect. Um, and I really like that. And again, I just feel like all of these little details of patina is what really sets this piece out for me. Um, if I collected Iron Man, and believe me, I wish I could. Um, if I didn't collect just Batman, Iron Man would be the second thing that I would collect because I absolutely love this character, and I love what uh, they've done in the movies, of course. Um, it just, I just think this is a fun piece. It's a good piece. And it, again, it, it continues that tradition that Iron Studios has done with, this, with these lines. Um, I've been very, very impressed with, with everything that I've seen uh, so far. Of course, you might know uh, collector Jeff Morris uh, is on Rogue's Gallery Live. He has a lot of these pieces from Iron Studios, and he's incredibly impressed. It just looks so good together. And again, I, I really can't say enough good things about what I'm seeing here because, again, the patina, the colors, and I just feel like it's a pretty darn good value. Um, at this scale. Yes, could it have been a little cheaper? Maybe. Uh, but the fact that it does have some light up features, it probably increased the price just a little bit. Um, the deluxe that I was referring to, um, it does have the Robert Downey Jr. head sculpt. Um, here you can see the light up features. I wanted to make sure you see that. Um, so again, for that $1,200 price point, you get the light up feature, you get the, the extra wings on the back with the light up feature, and of course, uh, the Robert Downey Jr. head sculpt, which is absolutely incredible.
available. It is still in stock at Sideshow as we speak. I'm going to put the link down below if you're interested in that in the description down below. Um, it's incredible, and I really think it's worth it if you are an Iron Man fan. Uh, of course, uh, it does uh, ship today from Sideshow, so it is in stock. And uh, again, I just think it's awesome. But again, Kevin was very, very happy with this uh, standard version. But if you do want to, to have those extra little effects on it, um, definitely think about uh, picking up the deluxe. But really, really cool, right? It's just, I love that it's got the light up feature. Again, I do think that justifies the, the price point. I know not everybody likes light ups, but I do feel like it looks good regardless of whether it's lit up or not. But, I mean, you got to admit, that looks pretty badass right there. I think it's really, really fun. It's even got the propeller, uh, the, the light the light off the boots, which is really cool. They didn't need to do that. Um, but I, I do think this is one of the best Iron Mans that I've seen personally. It's a lot of fun. And, again, especially if you get the deluxe with that uh, Robert Downey Jr. head sculpt, uh, it's really, really good. It's really, it's a Hot Toys quality, in my opinion. I think it looks really nice. But again, from top to bottom, I just want to thank Kevin for doing this footage for us. It's always so nice. Uh, if you're interested in doing a guest review, please uh, email me at thebatmanstatuecollector at gmail.com. I would absolutely love to showcase your footage on the channel and share, because this is something that I wouldn't normally review. So again, I always thank our guests for uh, showing us some of these items. It's just absolutely incredible of you guys. I want to thank Kevin again for sending this footage in. It's so really cool to see this piece. Congratulations to you, Kevin, and thanks everybody out there for taking some time to watch today. You guys are awesome, and uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this piece. Otherwise, please subscribe, like, comment, and just thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today, and if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen, and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them, and also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.